Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for <laughs> Scorpio. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is your Halloween reading, Scorpio, for the end of October, beginning of November. So let's see what's coming in for you. First Scorpio, please, for what's coming in for Scorpio? Okay, only well, reading the uprights. Strength card Leo is coming in for you. A Leo for Scorpio and a Two of Cups. So this is love. Somebody's finding the courage to come forward. Now, <laughs> I really like this for you. The strength card. Wow, where are you going to meet this person? Now, with the Leo person, this person's very vibrant and assertive, very generous, and could be a little self centered. And with the two of cups, they have water in their charts. We have fire and water. So, Leo, Aries, and Sag with the fire. But with the strength card, this is overcoming things here that having that inner power inner peace courage integrity being calm within a situation where everybody else is freaking out <laughs> and you may be the only calm person there leo so let's see how are you going to meet this person oh so this person is going to meet their feminine, their main feminine in the distant horizon. This is wish fulfillment with that number two of the two of cups. I'm kind of getting with that partnership in numerology. This is about a partnership, duality, harmony, peacemaker, cooperation, sensitivity, and balance. And with the number nine here, that's wish fulfillment. That is definitely fruition of maybe something you've manifested. This may be somebody that's very, has that universal love, have it being very tolerant towards other people. I like this. Ooh, imprisonment. This is number 11. Now, this person may be stuck at this point here. Let's get another card here because I'd like to see when this might happen. When is this going to happen? When are you going to meet this person? Now, this may, this may be at a courthouse that you meet this person. This main female, I might be talking to a masculine. Six of swords. Now, this person is kind of coming forward at this time with the six of swords now i read intuitively so they may be escaping something coming to calmer waters to get away from somebody else this may be an emotional journey that they're on maybe they are picking up on your energy or they have found you on social media and is coming your way they may have been stuck for a long time here in a situation, I feel like they've managed to free themselves here in order to come forward, getting away from something or someone or a bad toxic situation. Now, with the Six of Swords, that is air energy. Now, it's going to be possibly in January 30th to February 8th in and around there. This could be somebody that has air energy in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. They may have water and also fire energy. Now, this question is a doer, with the fire energy being their main energy here. This usually is within days, I'm feeling, but with the water in there that's usually months and this is feeling emotionally this this all comes naturally to this person to feel this love very loving person it's looking for their love is kind of what i'm getting 
Wow, they won a victory. We got 6-6 six, six here with 6 of swords and 6 of wands. They definitely want that good news, that victory or recognition, some type of success. Success. Some type of honest discussions. There's no doubt in their mind of who this main female may be. That may be you. Maybe I'm talking to the female. Let's see what we have coming in. When you two meet, what is your soul connection going to say or be at this time when you first meet this person? I feel like it's, it's maybe in a courthouse or some type of maybe a police station. Maybe this person works at a police station or I'm getting um, justice system. It, it could be a lawyer, it could be in a courthouse, it could be justice of the peace. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, hmm. Interesting. Some type of justice, something to do with justice. Let's see. Let's see. That's too many, Spirit. I just want one, please. What's going on when you meet this person? Cherish. You will cherish your relationship. Now, this person that's coming in, this Leo, heavy fire energy here, they really cherish you as this feminine, whoever this feminine, synchronous, synchronicities. The the divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicity. Wow, that's beautiful. There's definitely going to be something in the air or some type of... You're going to know. It's, it's going to be without a doubt here. Everything's going to come together. Guilt. Don't let guilt get in the way of happiness. I feel like this person may feel a little guilty for running away from a situation in order to come forward for you. And I kind of feel like they're running towards love. They may have had to leave somebody behind, maybe walk away from somebody, get escape some type of situation. And I feel like it was over, but they're still feeling a little guilty. Maybe how it all went down how they had to kind of go um, while they could. I'm getting like that. I have to go and I have to go now type of energy before the person maybe sucks them back in into this, um, holding them back from going towards what they're meant to go towards. Ah, there's going to be clarity here. Take time to think about your situation to gain clarity. So I feel like there's going to be an aha moment for this person that they're going to realize that they're on the right path, I feel. Like this is what they're meant to be doing, Scorpio, coming towards you. Now, you could be this Leo coming towards somebody else, like this main feminine. And if you are the main feminine, you may be having somebody coming towards you. Forgiveness, I'm struggling to get over the past. So this person may have all the clarity. There might be everything they're looking for with you. But they may be struggling with letting go of maybe how they left this other person. Or they may be having second thoughts only because of the guilt they're feeling. What are the other obstacles? Yeah, they are needing to do that self-love. And maybe this is what this self-discovery is all about. With this um, coming forward, I'm getting, like, being able to move out of that energy to claim that, gain that clarity that they need to gain. Yeah, chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. This could be a twin flame. Hello. <laughs> Uh, runner chasers usually has a lot to do with that twin flame uh, relationship where you love hard with each other, you challenge each other, you heal with one another, and you teach one another things. Um, usually spiritual connection as well. You're both usually awoken or awakened. 
at the time that you meet. Let's see here. Now these could be the fears or a confession they may feel towards you or um, about someone else. I wish I could be fully honest with you. So they may be having a little bit of a hard time uh, discussing some things with you where they they may not want to tell you I'm getting the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Um, they may have that guilt that they're not telling you the whole truth. Now, this could be that they're not telling this other person this whole truth. Take it however it resonates for you, and if maybe it's not resonating for you, it could be a person that's coming in for you. Whether you are the Leo or the main fa uh, female, take it however it resonates. Now, it's just uh, energy. Um, with the main female here, I feel like this, in these cards, this usually means gender. In the tarot cards, it does not. It's energy. So, with the oracle cards, this could be a feminine. And if it's not you or your person, perhaps you are both masculines. Um, this could be a feminine within your energy, a mother figure or a sister, brother, sibling. Take it however it resonates for you, okay? Now, let's see what's on the bottom. What is the truth? Oh. <laughs> I feel like this clarity here is really going to help this person put everything into perspective, Scorpio. Now, if it's not you or if it's not them, it may be you where you are going to have some clarity about this person. Let's see. Maybe we should do, before we do the outcome, let's let's see here let's find out a couple things first what's the imprisonment what is this this is there's somebody that's going to set this person free i feel like there's going to be some clarity here in order for them to come forward yeah they may realize they were a fool or that they want to take that leap of faith with you maybe they saw you on social media and this could be their ascended masters getting them to come this way, having some turbulence going on for them in order for them to escape from whatever situation they were not meant to be in. The chariot, I can't make it up. The chariot is here. This is definitely person moving forward out of this situation here, okay? And wanting to take that leap of faith with the fool for the two cups towards you. Okay, so they are definitely moving forward. What's this clarity they're going to gain? What's this clarity? Ah, seven of cups. <laughs> Maybe somebody had options. <clears throat> and it could be that this person is escaping as part of realizing maybe they were put into a competition maybe they realize that they have other options they don't have to be stuck where they are i feel like that's that going around and around and around in a karmic cycle and it's and nothing's changing it's all the same it's all the same bite nothing's growing nothing's changing and it keeps just evolving 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 going around and around and nothing's actually growing or evolving from it it's just kind of going around it's not actually going anywhere in this karmic cycle there's lessons but this person hasn't learned this lesson until they've actually freed themselves they want to take that leap of faith and they're going to move forward to do this there are other options and they're realizing that clarity is there what is this chaser i don't want to chase anymore the wheel things are going to change for this person with the wheel of fortune this is all about changes. This is cycles and fate, something unexpected, maybe some type of luck that, that you're going to have to adapt with or some type of change where they're going to be able to adapt to this. Wow. Twin flame. Now, usually <clears throat> you're going to know who this person is. So this could be 
it's somebody from your past coming back around. And for those who are not taking back the past, this could be a new person. Um, they may be coming out of a twin flame relationship. It's not all twin flames get together. It's a very challenging and hard dynamic to navigate if you're really don't know what it's about and not not everybody makes it through or comes out on top sometimes um you end up with a soulmate which there are 12 different types of soulmates that you can have right twin flame is just happens to be one of them right i mean you can have a soul family you can have a companion soulmate who's just a friend um you can have romantic soulmates who help you heal and learn and grow together you learn together there could be karmic soulmates which i feel like whatever this was they were in before where they felt stuck i feel like that that was the karmic soulmate which is all about learning something and usually has to leave in order to realize that growth okay and reflect on it wow we have ace of wands here wow so this is a passionate new beginning here so i feel like this is new for you scorpio this could be somebody new they may be leaving that uh, twin flame behind they don't want to chase anymore they i feel like they want they're looking for somebody that's more mature is kind of what i'm getting here somebody that's more mature let's see what is the truth what is the truth for this five of wands Ooh. Hmm, too many choices. Could have been somebody faking something here. I wish I could be fully honest with you. This may be feeling a conflict or that competition, conflicting opinions. Some type of struggle here maybe trying to gain that clarity on which what what to do here this could be you or this could be them that is feeling this way knight of swords <laughs> could be you feeling this way you may have because maybe you've been hurt in the past you may not be too trusting i feel and you may be questioning what the truth is. Are they being true, truly honest with you or fully honest with you? You're, you may be getting triggered or feeling these feelings, maybe wondering if you are part of a competition of whoever they left behind. They're wanting to fight for this. It's saying it right here with this Knight of Swords, okay? With this Knight of Swords, this is all about um, taking action, fast thinking and seizing the moment, being assertive, ready for battle, ready to fight for you. So I feel like they're they're going to try to reassure you that they're that is not the case. Let's see what the outcome is here. For Scorpio, please. What is the outcome for Scorpio? Whoa, don't go on the floor. That's too many, please. Just one. Thank you. Well, there's two. Give your relationship a chance. So Spirit's kind of saying, take that leap of faith, you know, work on it with your partner. Take it slow. See if there's anything your intuition that you're picking up on that is true to the facts, not not necessarily your fear where that false evidence appears real right something that's tricking triggering you may feel like this there's evidence here that this is totally real but really it's it's just being triggered right heart to heart conversations get to the bottom of things find out for sure Give it a little bit of time. 
if you're seeing red flags, maybe don't just bail if there's only one red flag here. Give this person a chance. Maybe they're figuring it out too, right? Ah, there is a lot of chemistry, and that might be what scares you. <laughs> a lot of chemistry here. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. A magnetic attraction here. Ah, nice. Well, let's see what your intuition's telling you. Two of Swords, you're going to have to make a decision. You may not have all the information, okay? And you may have to have those conversations. You may have to gain that clarity in order to be able to move forward. Maybe you feel this person's got a lot of options. Maybe you do. Maybe you're not sure who to pick. You all have to make a decision here. Whoever they are, they are single. So they are no longer in any relationship. What's the fool? Ah, they may see you as marriage material or, oh, I thought that was the four. It's the three of wands. So you make a message. There is definitely some type of, I feel like somebody coming forward to give you a message here. But the Three of Wands, this is all about kind of having um, some type of troubles ending. This could be a business cooperation that they wanna do with you. There may be some disappointments that they've had. I'm wanting to, I kind of feel like Wanting, waiting for the ships to come in. Something, I, I don't know why I keep getting that. Because that's usually, um... <laughs> um, what am I thinking of uh, ships coming in? Why am I getting that? getting that I don't know why I'm getting that but hmm. kind of yeah like um... hmm. I don't know why I'm getting that I, I'm <laughs> really getting Ships coming in. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Because that's, that's not usually that card, is it? I, I don't know why I'm having a trouble with that. It's like I'm blanking here. There's the two of pentacles. There's the ships coming in. That's adapting. I don't know. Maybe that was what I was feeling. Um, multitasking. Maybe that you're going to have to multitask here for these ships to come in. I feel like you're you're waiting. They may have been waiting for something here. Maybe just the right opportunity to break free from whatever they were in. Okay, what's the imprisonment here and the chariot? Oh, that's way too many spirit. Can I just get one card, please, for the chariot? Oh, this. This person may be a looka looka. This is the Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries uh, fire energy. This is a doer. This is somebody that has vision. This is somebody that is a leader and respected and has authority in things. A very attractive somebody here. <laughs> is a looka looka. So this person is coming in for you that 
Leo, mostly Leo energy here and some water energy here. And with the King of Wands, I'm kind of getting, um, wow, this could actually happen November 23rd to December 21st that you're going to meet this person. I know I, I said uh, six of air. I think I said January to February 8th. So you might see this person two times. Like you may meet them in in December, November, December, and then they may live at a distance. So this could be um, this could be why they they have the journey again because we have the six of swords and then the chariot. So I'm kind of getting that they may you may end up seeing this person twice before you actually start to date or get together. They're going to like you a lot. There's going to be a lot of chemistry and they may have a lot of options that they can choose, but I feel like they are going to choose you. What's the seven of cups? Ah, okay. Five of swords. I feel like they're going to feel like some type of empty victory when they go to go home so after meeting you that maybe that there's too much distance between the two of you they may feel guilty about leaving you there they might be gaining clarity maybe feeling like you are their cup uh, it looks like things are all going to fall into place here, though. But the Ace of Wands with the wheel, like, this is a passionate new beginning where luck is on your side. And and I feel like spirit angels, ancestors, and spirit guides are all kind of arranging this to happen. It's like it's faded. What's this Ace of Wands? Yeah, look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So it may be that... The first time around, they may have to, uh, when they go back, I feel like whoever they left behind or escaped from, whatever the situation was that they escaped from, this toxic situation, they're going to end that out. It's going to be put to bed, finalized. It's there's There won't be anything more with this I'm not wanting to chase anymore. They may be trying to save and they may be ruthless when it comes to the saving. Um, they may be fixated on it because they're wanting to come back to see you. I'm kind of getting that they're really going to uh, fight for this. And with this Knight of Swords here, they're not going to want you to feel any type of way in where the you feel like there may be other people that's in this person's life. They're not going to want anything to come between the two of you they're going to want you to choose them what's this knight of swords and this five of wands yeah okay so now this could be you this could be them this could be uh with the nine of wands this is that wounded warrior so you may be healing um you, it doesn't necessarily have to be that you were injured or in an accident or have any illness you could just be healing your heart doing your um dark night of the soul doing that introspect you may be still healing um things with that retrogrades coming in like there was like quite a few planets i, I who was it um trying to think of uh think had to do with people hanging on to relationships too tightly uh and i feel like this uh spirit was with this i think it was saturn saturn that just came out of retrograde. So whatever people were hanging on to too tightly when it came to relationships, they were being forced to let them go. This may have been very wounding for this person, or uh, this may be you 
maybe you ended something out as well but this person really wants to fight for this now you could have been injured had an illness or um been this wounded warrior maybe had an accident but this is success after that setback this is keep going no matter what you're always moving forward regardless of what happens to you now this could be this person with this strength card here they have the courage and the strength that bravery to keep moving forward so take it however it resonates for you i'm not taking those please spirit just one card for the two of swords tell me what your okay we'll take those two. Oh, look at you so now you are having to make this choice now it could be a person empress is underneath the two of swords here <laughs> wow look at that the empress is there with the two of swords so and then we have the magician and the empress so you both you both may be in empress energy now this just means that this person is on their feminine side regardless of gender and they are experiencing blessings in all areas of their life now this could be you as well and i feel like this you may have manifested this person or they may have manifested you and you're going to have to make a choice when it comes to this person or they're going to make a choice about you take it however it resonates yeah i feel like this card has come out as well i feel like somebody has gotten caught red-handed and this may have been in about this imprisonment or it could be this person's getting caught coming towards you especially if it's a past connection if it is somebody from your past they may have gotten caught coming towards you uh with a love offer okay they may have been locked in with someone else maybe they didn't tell you that it could be for some of you i'm kind of getting that maybe what the guilt is all about so take it however it resonates for you but it's not going to necessarily resonate with everybody it is a general reading okay if you do want a personal i will be putting uh, on my community page uh, when i'll be opening up for uh, personal readings and i figure probably in the next week so i still need a few days to recoup <laughs> let's see what is their intuition telling them ah, to keep moving forward with that eight of wands this is progress this is a breakthrough they may have certain promises that they've made to themselves or to you this may be even a proposal of of getting together or some type of um i kind of get project or kind of proposal maybe to move in to help with finances um or the distance maybe even hmm I feel like you are the object of desire for a lot of people a lot of people may see you as marriage material you're the whole package Wow this is really beautiful Scorpio this is beautiful tell me about the chemistry here wow wheel of fortune well luck is definitely going to be on your side when it comes to this chemistry and uh, i i feel like this is a completion of a cycle um a renewal if you will if it is a past person and if it's not these are endings that bring new beginnings right things need to close out for new things to come in right so whatever happened here somebody is getting caught red-handed they stepped right into it and i feel like this may be what was being escaped why why your person left in the first place so and that clarity has come up maybe 
the person they left behind had a lot of options or was entertaining a lot of options. So take it however it resonates for you. In any case, please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. If you'd like to donate, there is a PayPal account in the description box below. Or the super thanks, and I appreciate each and every one of you for all the donations I've received as of yet uh, thus far, and uh, for all the super thanks as well. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. <laughs> so, um... I'm going to be doing uh, Sagittarius as well coming up next and keep doing the Zodiacs, but I'm going to try throwing in there some of the requests. So if I do the Zodiacs, there's going to maybe me one or two of the Zodiacs and then a request list um, reading as well. So, all right, you guys, take care. Stay blessed. We'll see you next time. All right, later.